This I have here is yet another solution on how to fix your cable bills for good. You buy an over-the-air HD antenna, such as you see here, and then you hook it up to your home theater setup by the HD home runs or any type of TV tuners that you can buy in any stores. You grab a small little remote, which is like the gyration remote, which I have here, and all you do is plug it into your Windows computer and you press your little green button that launches and it will launch your media center. Inside of your media center you just control it with your up and down arrow keys. You can come into your guide and look at what's coming up on your next couple of days. Um, and again I'm just using the up, down, left, right arrows. If you want to watch something right now you simply select it and it will take you to it. And it will let you watch it in full 1080i. HD that's being broadcast over the air. This is all free and this is all being done over there. If you want to record any such program you could simply select record and now it's recording it. Going back to your guide you now see that it has the red button on it that it's recording it. Say you wanted to, to record the NBC nightly news every night you'd simply select it and select record the entire series and each time this, this uh, series were to come on, your computer would automatically turn on, record the series, and turn off right after it. Okay? So everything that, you are, everything that you do on your computer is being stored in your computer now instead of in the cable box from the cable company that you pay at least $9.99 a month to have. And as I stated before, this is your recorded TV. Instead of looking at a list, you look at a list of thumbnails and you can now click play and click the the recording that we just made you can pause it just like you would with your TiVo play fast forward rewind and there it is with live TV you can do this without the cable company and save you a few extra bucks a month I'm gonna stop this recording and I'm just gonna go out and watch live TV And after you watch this for a few minutes, you can. It's just as if you're, you had your DVR from the cable company. Again, you watch it, you watch it. Say uh, you're watching a football game, or you missed, uh, uh, or you need to pause it to go take care of something. On your media center remote, you simply click pause. You can pause the live TV. If you miss something that she said, you can rewind it, take it back. And as you as you watch it again, the stream keeps going on. And so when a commercial comes up, you can simply fast forward past it and catch you up to what's currently going on on the show. So there's a prime example of your cable cut out of your, out of your bill. Now, a lot of people like the movie channels, you know, HBO, Cinemax, Showtime. It, this is also inside a media center. This is your Netflix. This is the Netflix On Demand, where you can come into their instant queue that they have and order up any one of their many movies that they have and simply click it and it'll come up with a synopsis and click play and it'll take you into it and within seconds just as if inserting a DVD you have your full Netflix just as if you had a DVD in there so it's streaming over the internet it's going out to the Netflix server and bringing it back and you have the same functionality in here that you would with a DVD as you can fast forward it play, takes a few seconds to buffer again from the Netflix server, and there it is. Pause it, rewind it, again, just as if you had a DVD inserted, but this is the Netflix streaming application. As you can see, uh, along with the other things inside a media center, you have your internet TV, which is provided by Microsoft, which they're doing quite a bit with. Um, if you missed the, the last show of CSI Miami, let's say for an example, you simply click your watch now, and it'll bring up the, the listing of all the episodes that's on CSI currently at this time. It takes a second, goes out to the internet, catches what's going on, and brings it right back to you. So these are the full episodes that you have. 
Um, that, that one aired February 27th, for an example. Today is the 7th of, of March. So you go out to it, click play. It'll, again, go out and get the episode, bring it back to you, and there it is, streaming on your computer. So now here's your CSI, and it, it's coming straight from uh, the, the full episodes, as if you were to see it on TV, but without commercial interruptions nearly as long as TV, and it's streaming over the internet, so you never have to worry about doing any kind of DVR service with it. Um, one more solution that I found to be rather effective is Hulu Desktop. If you go to and search the internet for Hulu Desktop, you'll find an application that looks similar to this that again you can control it with your media center remote that I have and you can come into your menu and and go on a popular TV that was recently added and this is how you can catch up on the latest episode of uh, The Simpsons for an example. Now today's Monday and this this aired yesterday 3 6 of 2011 and you simply select it, and Hulu will go get it, bring it back down, and there it is, full on screen, just as if you were to watch it on Sunday when it was when it was on. These are the only small things that you have, are an advertisement of a commercial, maybe a 30 second other commercial, and as you can see that from the video, 30 seconds is nothing compared to the two and a half minutes that they have on current live TV. So, this is your Hulu desktop. This is another solution to eliminate your cable bill as you can go out to the internet and grab a lot of instant online streaming stuff to uh, take care of that cable bill that you pay $80, $90 a month for. And the, the home theater PC is what takes care of the DVR and everything else on it. So this is the Simpsons episode that aired yesterday and it's already on the internet and ready for you to watch. So there you have it. This is all running on Windows uh, 7 Home Premium Edition, which is what most people have nowadays. Uh, this is running on a Inspiron Xeno HD 410 series from Dell, and this is connected to a 42-inch LG HD TV.